Hi, I love the backgrounds. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, and I have to tell you, I love this book. It's literally my favorite children's book. It's the first book we bought each of our children. And I was so excited, A, to learn that this was coming to be a children's series, but then also that we got to interview you for the children's series. Um, I think the Barcapella group is maybe my favorite part of the series. How did you guys come up with that? Well, sort of two impetuses. Is that a word? Impetuses uh, sure. for for the Barcapellas. Uh, one is, you know, I've I've made a number of shows for kids, and music is always a central part. It's just uh, it brings a show to life. Kids like it. Parents like it. We like working with it when we make the shows. So I knew I wanted music to be central. I also knew I wanted to work with a composer named Paul Buckley, who I've worked on on past projects who brings just this catchiness and uh, also humor to all his music. So there was that. And then there was, you know, in the book, there's that feeling of randomness almost that makes sense, like a dog popping up and saying, do you like my hat? And uh, these little surprising incongruous things. So I liked the idea that there were characters that just out of nowhere could pop in and start singing a song. Uh, and I also liked the idea that we never explain it, but they don't actually speak without singing. It's, it's, you almost don't even know if they can, you know, and it, it felt like a new character in the Go Dog Go world that didn't exist in the book, but hopefully would fit, you know, with, with these other kind of random things. And so that's how the, the Bar Capellas uh, came about. And yeah, we're, we're, we're thrilled with how they function in the series. They're so clever. Thank you. Thank you. Hey again. Hi. So my question is, we, my kids have read the other P.D. Eastman books. My son actually brought me, because he knew we were interviewing, <laughs> Big Dog, Little Dog. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah, that was one of his favorites. And he loves Go Dog Go, because he's all about cars and stuff like that. But he wants to know if we will see any other P.D. Eastman characters show up, like Fred and Ted, or, you know, the little bird from Are You My Mother, that sort of thing. Um, it's that's a great question. I will say not literally, but we do. I I think you know we have a duo. They don't have big roles uh, necessarily, but um, we have a big dog and a little dog who are best friends. That they, they show up kind of um, in in background a lot, and then they have a few scenes and episodes. They don't look like Fred and Ted, but it's it's kind of inspired by that Pete Eastman feeling of two characters that are very different getting along. Um, and then in terms of you know, he seems to do dogs and birds, right? So there's uh, there's birds throughout the series. Uh, you know, it's, usually it's just um, background, but every now and then they'll they'll be a little bit more featured. So we definitely wanted to incorporate birds in as well, just because hey, it seemed to fit in the in the book. So why not put it in the show? Um, but yeah, I would so I'd say very loosely inspired, but not in such a direct way. So you have worn a lot of hats in this industry, um, including writer, actor, producer. Do you have a favorite role? Yeah, well, I'll say for me, everything comes from from the writing, right? Like that's that's my been my main um, role uh, in in making shows throughout my career. Uh, so even if I'm producing, it comes out of the writing, it comes from a, a script or a take I have on a show. So I think like that, that will always be the favorite role. And the, and the, the acting is, is, is I've, I've done it a few times on my own shows. It's not something that, um, you know, I, I don't have a, a wide career with that. It's more that um, on shows I've, I've worked on, I've had the opportunity to do a few. And I, I always love it. I mean, it's really, it's really fun, um, but I don't, you know, I know that I'm not a trained actor, you know, in the way it's, it, so it's, it's a, it's a marvel to work with people that really are. So, I, you know, I, I know that at the end of the day, the writing is, um, is the main thing, but I, the producing is great too, because you work, you get to work with people that all have these widely disparate talents, but you bring them together on, on one project. And that, that's, that's a real joy too. So, so I would love to know what you would like kids and families to take away from the show, other than it's obviously super fun, it's colorful, it's exciting, but is there anything else you would like them to take away from each episode? Yeah, a few things. I mean, one, it, 
is I hope kids and families watch it together as much as possible. I think it's the type of show that uh, I'm hoping that kids and old, older siblings and parents can all enjoy together. Cause that's, that's just a nice experience when you get, there's something you all like to watch together. Um, and then beyond that, I hope that there's a, there's a theme of community running through the whole series. Um, everything is, a, is about this town of Poston where Tag lives. And it's about how community members get along and welcome new members and work as a team and work through conflicts. I think in this day and age, that's an, you know, an important area. And I hope it inspires uh, kids to get more curious about their own community and, and start thinking about what it means to be part of a community and you know, respecting each other and uh, working with differences and, and all those kinds of things. Well, we love it. So I'm excited and fingers crossed for season two. <laughs> Thank you so much.